let's take a live look at Grand Forks, North Dakota. You know, things this morning, yes, we have snow on the ground, but you know, it's not looking too bad. We have some gray skies. As we look at the scene tomorrow, is not going to look so great. Uh, we have blizzard warnings out for parts of the Dakotas, and that should just be that, that big red stoplight. I mean, whenever you have a blizzard warning in effect, that's where you park it. You don't head out. We're talking about very strong wind gusts and whiteout conditions. This is the same storm that dumped five feet of snow in the Sierra and had wind gusts in excess of 150 miles per hour on some of the top peaks across the Sierra Nevada. So this means business, and this storm is going to mean business along every phase as we track it from the west coast to the east coast. So this is the next stop along the way. In the Dakotas, the conditions are going to go downhill in the next 12 hours. Right now, not too bad, right? We have clear skies, but look at those temperatures. Mid-20s, so we're setting the scene with cold air in place. That's part of the recipe here. And as this area of low pressure starts to move into the plains, the winds are going to pick up. A lot of that is because the topography. Keep in mind, the storm is coming out of the Rockies with heights, I mean, these mountain heights are 14,000 feet, and then you slam it down into the plains. That's allowing these winds to accelerate, and we'll have wind gusts in excess of 50 to 60 miles per hour across South Dakota and Nebraska. You combine that with this, the snow forecast, and this is why you can't travel. 18 to 24 inches of snow across western South Dakota. There's some spots in there around Rapid City and maybe Valentine, Nebraska, where we could see higher amounts. And when you throw in a 50 mile per hour wind gust with a foot and a half of snow, you just can't travel in those conditions. Also, we have an ice factor here, and this is almost worse than snow. I would say easily most people would prefer driving on snow than ice. And in Eastern portions of South Dakota, uh, pretty much following Interstate 29, you can't travel in this. We have a half an inch of ice accretion that's in the forecast. That's enough to cripple power lines. So make sure that if you live in Eastern South Dakota, you are ready to not have power for a few days with brutally cold temperatures in the forecast. That means food, that means water, and a safe way to keep you and your family warm because it's gonna get pretty intense over the next 24 to 48 hours. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.